guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mattel Cyanosaurus. And let's get this figure out of the box. This is our Dominion figure. And since it's out of the box, we can take a look at the box. A little bit better. Has the same Jurassic World Dominion background as always. T-Rex over here. Here's a picture of it doing its action feature. Dominion logo. Cyanosaurus action feature again. Jurassic Facts up up there. It's the Jurassic Facts app again. Here it performing its action feature. Um, its action feature again. And then another figure in its size range is Amplosaurus. Yeah, here's the Siamosaurus. Okay, now that we got the box out of the way, we should take a look at the actual figure. This is actually a really cool figure. It is a pretty good size. And let's take a look at the detailing. This thing got some really good detailing. So first I got a nice Spinosaurus head. It's a pretty good Spinosaurus head. And it has a nice amount of teeth. It has, I think it's going a little bit too far back in the mouth, but besides that, it's pretty good. Then we have the inside of its mouth. Which has a nice tongue up there, a nice detailing up here, and a nice flesh pink color inside. Then as we go down the neck, it has a little bit of kind of like sailing up here. And a lot of crocodilian texturing and a little bit of sailing on the bottom. Then once we go on the body, this thing is really crocodilian colored. I mean textured, and also the sail is very Spinosaur-like. Here is some more crocodilian-like texturing, especially on the stomach. It has a lot of scoots on its stomach. And then for the feet, it's kind of webbed feet. They have really cool kind of clawed webbed feet. Kind of like a crocodile. Especially on the um, four limbs. Then once we go down it more, it has kind of a um, fin. Kind of like how Spinosaurus does on the end of its tail. This is basically just Mattel trying to appeal to people that like accurate Spinosaurus. So they made an accurate quadrupedal Spinosaurus. But now that's outdated as everyone knows. And it's actually quadrupedal. So this is not um, date, out, um, dated anymore. This is only known from like a tooth, so that's interesting. So most things um, about this um, dinosaur depiction usually are off Spinosaurus. Now let's take a look at the scan code. Which here's its scan code. Or if anyone wants to scan into Jurassic Facts app. Okay, now that you guys have that, let's take a look at its action feature. So first, there's this button at the um up here at the top of its tail. So you can press, and it chomps. But also, if you move the tail, the um neck moves around, so you can kind of have the head thrash around like that, go side to side, and then up and down, and kind of raw around like this. This is actually a really cool action feature. You can have it just kind of have your hands off screen and then just do this. But anyway, it can also, um, articulation points would have both hind legs on each side. It can move forward and backwards, and also outwards, like always. You can move out like this. And the same, probably the same for the hind limb. You can move it out, not too much on the hind limb, but you can do it a little bit. And then the neck, of course, has articulation. It has two articulation points, one right here, and then one right here. But those are linked to the action feature, along with the ones at the, um, the one here at the tail. Then also, of course, the jaw moves, and you know, it doesn't have too much articulation, but this is a pretty simple but good figure. Next, let's move on to size comparison. First, let's compare it to, obviously, the Spinosaurus. Here it is compared to the Spinosaurus. This thing is about half the size of the Spinosaurus, to be honest. It actually shares kind of similar colors to the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus, having the same color seal and kind of face and gray body, but more deeper tones. This thing is completely tiny compared to Spinosaurus, but it's still pretty good size up compared to it. It also has, also the forelimbs look nothing alike. They look very different, the forelimbs. And the hindlimbs. This thing actually has four toes for some reason. And literally four hand pinches, which we probably should have had three. But we can look by that. Next, we should compare it to the... Now I have another figure that should be kind of similar to it. The Sarcosuchus. The Sarcosuchus is about, should be about the same size of it. And they're also really similar. Honestly, I think this one is slightly shorter, but that's only because Sarcosuchus has a long face and tail. They both have crocodilian texturing. Both have stomach scoots. They're kind of more distinct ones, though. 
Um, they're also in about the same price range and size range. Um, the actual figures, so that's really cool. And they're both kind of crocodilian like animals, about the same size range. Also, the circus who kisses tail drags. Well, this guy kind of stays stiff. This the circus who kisses tail can kind of be moved, and it doesn't affect the creature's movement except for twisting inside the side. But the, um, this guy, you cannot move. Every movement affects the movement of this figure. And next, we should size it up to the. Next, we should compare it to a Velociraptor and a human. The Velociraptor is tiny compared to this guy. It would easily get eaten up by it, like that. Then, swung around. Let's see if I can get the swing it around. Well, it can just knock it off the table, I guess. Then, compared to a human, the human is about the size of its leg. So, this thing would have been huge, apparently. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this review of the Siamosaurus, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello there. I'd like to let you guys know that, well, let's just let me show you. We've got merch. So, please buy some merch.